Hi, I'm Felix Nemecha. I'm a Christian who plays football and this is my story. I came to football just because I had an older brother who's two years older and he was always playing football. So from very, very young, I started playing football. I think I was maybe two years old when I kicked the first ball. When I was really young, I just played for fun. But then maybe when I was around 10, when I started playing for Man City, that's when it became like, okay, I see the first team and I'm like, I just want to get there. My brother got scouted first for Man City and then I got scouted a few weeks after. And then we got signed really, really quick. So, so that was when I was first in a professional team. Um, I think me and my brother, we always just wanted to be the best. It was almost like football just consumed us. Like we go to training, then when we're not at training, we're playing street football. Like it was everything football, football. I signed first when I was 17. I signed my first pro contract, 17. It was special, it was nice. I think especially in the season of my life, going through a lot of growth. Like I was really small, number 10, and then I changed that being more like a number eight. And my body was just all over the place <laughs> as, I, as I grew really quick. And then, yeah, to just get a pro at that time was, was so good for me. Against Burton Albion was my first game. And yeah, this, this game was crazy because I got called to the first team. And then I was like, okay, sometimes the young players get called, but they never come on. But then I actually got called to come on and I was just excited, so ready to just play that day, so it was a special day. And then making a big move to Wolfsburg, which was like kind of out of my comfort zone at that time. And yeah, by God's grace, I was able to go to Dortmund after that, which was of course also probably the biggest highlight of my career so far. The biggest setback I had was probably in the youth at Man City when I had a long-term injury. It was a strange time in my life because I was 18 and all of the players that I grew up playing against, competing with and like being on the same level, they started playing first teams, they started doing well and I had this injury. And then to the world, it, it could have looked like, oh, he should be sad or he should be depressed or whatever. But honestly, this, this time in my career was up to that point, the best thing that could have happened in my life. And it might sound weird, but in that time, I. I really used the time and, and used it to invest into my relationship with God. And it was such a blessing because I grew spiritually like never before. I grew mentally also like never before. I'm sure all the footballers out there know that when you're injured and you're doing them conditioning sessions alone in the gym, it can be hard, but I really became stronger mentally just against myself every day. And it was a setback but it was also a huge blessing for me. So I came to know Jesus at around 15, 16 years old. And I always grew up like going to church, doing Christian things, ticking boxes, praying, saying to people I'm a Christian. And I think when I actually became a Christian, I realized that I wasn't a Christian before. So I grew up, I was always trying to stay focused in school and, and in football. Of course, sometimes you, you mess about, but like I, I saw myself as a good, good person, a good uh, son to my, to my parents. When I realized that I wasn't good and I'm actually in need of a savior, it, it brought me to Jesus. And just through that time, realizing that in my own works, in my own strength. It's not possible to, to be saved. It's not possible to have eternal life because at the end of the day, I realized that my works will not be good enough because his, his standard is perfect and, and none of us are perfect. So as I had a good friend, he was also born again. We were always like encouraging each other as we were growing and learning. And a big part was Realizing that football is a huge blessing, but football, it, it will never give you the fulfillment that you think it does. It will, never, it will never fill me that I don't want more. You will always want more. 
you win the Champions League, you won another Champions League, you win the World Cup, you won another one. And realizing that only Jesus could fulfill me has helped me so much because it's made me realize that when my joy and my peace can be in Him, then my life can be constant. I can tell people and I can promise people that when you get to know Jesus, you will be fulfilled. And it doesn't mean that when someone comes to Christ that all the hardship is going to stop. But it means that you know that God is with you through it. That's what Jesus did on that cross. He, he died for us so that we could have this relationship with him, so that we could know actually who he's created us to be. And there's so much peace and joy and just truth in, in Jesus. So, yeah, I just encourage people to, to take a step because once you experience this, your life will never be the same. That's how I came to Christ. And for me, the, it's just a, it's a huge testimony because I was lost. I thought I was a Christian. I thought I was good. I was self-righteous and prideful. And God, Jesus, saved me. So that's, that's my testimony. <laughs>